DNA from a convicted felon helped police make an arrest in a violent sexual attack of a Boca Ciega high school student. That student was attacked on school grounds last November. But Gulfport police just made the arrest in the case yesterday. News Channel 8's Jeff Patterson is joining us live tonight. He is at Boca Ciega High School with the story. Good evening, Keith and Jen. The attack did happen right here on school grounds just before the start of classes. 24-year-old Javante Summers made his first appearance in this case today in front of a Pinellas County judge. It's not Summers' first time being arrested. Gulfport police tell us a Boca Ciega High School student was walking to school last November at 6.30 in the morning when she was attacked. As she was approaching the school in that entrance on school campus, uh, an individual approached her from behind, grabbed her, shoved her to the ground, and uh, attempted to potentially rape her at that point. The student kicked and screamed and fought her attacker. A parent I spoke with finds it hard to understand how it happened on school property. Yeah, because they have good monitors, you know, and they got police on the campus, so I'm shocked that all that happened. Gulfport police took DNA samples from the victim and entered the results into the system. They got a match because Javante Summers is a convicted felon who had to give a DNA sample after a previous conviction. The science definitely helped out in this case. Gulfport police say that Summers is listed as a transient and they've been after him for a while but they were able to arrest him when he showed up in court on another case live in Gulfport, jeff patterson news channel 8.